Hello everyone! We're grooving into a new month and jamming out to a whole new theme. I mean, this is fresh out of the studio, friends. What are we talking about this month? Cooperation! Working together to do more than you can do alone. Yes, that's right. God made us to work together. Everyone has a part to play. Let's say this again. Cooperation. Working together to do more than you can do alone. Our theme this month is Jam Session. It takes a lot of different people and instruments to make music. They all work together to make an amazing sound. Today's game is called Guess That Instrument. I'll play the sound of an instrument and you tell me what it is. All right, here we go. First one. That was pretty easy. Did you guess drum? Okay, good job. Next one. Did you guess that one? It's a trumpet. All right, next one. All right, that's a violin. Okay, last one. And that was a piano. Good job guessing. So if we put all these instruments together, we'd have a great band. Music really does have the ability to move us, especially music about God. It can make us happy when we're feeling sad. It can remind us of who God is and what he has done for us. Let's take some time now and put our voices together as we sing and worship God. But before we do that, we should see what our good friend MC Haggis is up to. Let's watch together and I'll be back after today's Bible story. See you in a few. Any signatures on your castle? Hey. hey. If you get a whole row of them, it's called a castle. Hey. Right? Oh, hey there! <laughs> I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper. And this year's my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. Woo! He's available for parties, folks. Seriously. So, you might be wondering why me and Seamus are wearing these casts on our arms. Uh, ooh. It's a pretty interesting story, really. Uh, me and Seamus were climbing up this 1,000-foot cliff, and we started... Hey! All right, fine. It... It was a high five attempt gone horribly wrong, and we broke our arms. See, we were like, like, uh, oh, okay, I can't raise it above your neck. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so now Seamus is in a bit of a pickle, right, Seamus? Uh, yeah. See, Seamus was supposed to perform at a concert to raise money for struggling sheep ranchers called Woolapalooza. Hey. Yeah, but not by beatboxing. Uh, by playing this. Here, show him what you were playing. Not your cast. That. Yes. Yeah, see. There's the pickle. How could he play a guitar with a broken arm? Tell him, Seamus. <laughs> That's right. He can play it by ear. <laughs> but seriously, folks, he can't play it with one arm, and I can't take his place because I got a broken arm too. So we've decided to be an example of cooperation, working together to do more than we can do alone. Let's show him. Come in, here we go. What are you doing? You're trying to hug me? Okay, here we go. All right, yep, wrong way, wrong way. So, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, much better, much better. Hey. Hey. All right, hey. yeah. Hey. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Hey. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> you strum, and I'll play the frets. Right. Hey. Here we go, hold on. All right, and go. We did it! Cooperation! You know what? I think we should rap about it. Kick it! When you have a friend who needs a hand or an arm to loan, jump right and begin. You can do more together than you can do alone, and that's cooperation! War! Yay! Play some more here. Huh? Let's play. Here we go, ready? Go. You know what? Let's play. Calling in the sheep. Ready? Here we go. Hey. Go. And then the cows join in. 
And then the turkeys! And then the porpoises! Matthew 16, 24 and 25. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Hey, hey. Then Jesus told his disciples, The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of Exodus. Though the Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for hundreds of years, God had led them to freedom in the desert, and now they had to build new lives and a new place where God could live among them. So God called out to their leader, Moses. Come up to me on the mountain. A thick cloud covered the mountain as God spoke with Moses. Tell the Israelites, you have seen for yourselves how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. If you do, then out of all the nations, you will be my special treasure. God gave Moses many rules and laws that would help keep the people safe, but God gave the most detailed instructions for something very special. Have them make a sacred tent for me. I will live among them. Make the holy tent and everything that belongs to it exactly like the pattern I will show you. Okay, ready, taking notes. 
Make ten curtains out of finely twisted linen with blue, purple, and bright red yarn. Sew cherubim into the pattern. The curtains must be 42 feet long and six feet wide. Make loops out of blue strips. Ugh, Moses' head must have spun as God gave him very complicated blueprints for a beautiful tent, uh, for all the things that would go inside the tent, and for the elaborate robes the priests would wear. Curtains, uh, lampstands, bowls, uh, altars, incense, robes. God, I, I don't even know where to start. God knew Moses couldn't take on this huge job alone. In fact, God already had it covered. Phew! After Moses had heard all of God's instructions, he came down the mountain and told his assistant, Joshua, Gather all the people. On it. God is going to make a home right here among us. We'll build an epic, amazing, ginormous tent for God. Who wants to volunteer? Maybe you should be a little more specific. Uh, good point. Uh, one thing at a time. Uh... Aaron! Moses pointed out his brother, standing near the front. Right here! God has chosen you and your sons to serve as priests in the sacred tent. Oh, we're honored, but, oh, oh, well, uh, we need the tent first. Exactly. We'll need a skilled craftsman to head up the whole project. Moses looked out over the crowd. Bezalel, son of Uri. The name spread through the vast crowd, and in moments, a young man with bright eyes and strong hands leapt off a rock and came forward. Bezalel, son of Uri, tribe of Judah, at your service. God has chosen you to lead everyone crafting the holy tent. Wow, okay, uh, gonna need half a second here. Uh, don't worry, God's filled you with his spirit, with wisdom, understanding, knowledge, all kinds of skill. You're talking about me? Can you make beautiful patterns in gold, silver, and bronze? Well, yes. Can you cut and set stones? Yep. Work with wood? Absolutely. Craft as if Pinterest were already a thing? Theoretically, yes. God will give you all the help you need, starting with uh, a holy ab. Another man stepped up, smile lines crinkling his face. Hey, man, that's me. God also had chosen you and given you special skill in all kinds of crafts. Oh, <laughs> totally rare. And to top it off, God has given both of you the ability to teach others everything you know. All right, we're so on it. We'll train up an entire team. <laughs> there was just one catch. We need to lay in supplies. Yeah, anyone seen a house depot? How about a tents to go? God will take care of it. Uh, uh, we, we need everyone to help. Please bring an offering for the Lord from what you have. Quickly, people came forward to give to the work of the holy tent. Uh, take these gold earrings and this necklace. I can haul in loads of acacia wood on my donkey. I've been saving this purple yarn. I picked the olives for this olive oil. In fact, the people had brought so much, the workers couldn't use it all. Stop. Please, we have more than enough. So under the guidance of Bezalel and Oholiab, a team of men and women stepped up to create the tent. They carved tables and altars and curtain bases. They crafted golden lampstands and bronze bowls. They spun and wove yards and yards of bright colored linen curtains. They sewed special robes for the priests and compounded beautiful <sighs> incense to burn on the altar. At last, the tent of meeting was complete. Moses and all the people gathered together once more. You have done the work just as God commanded. May God bless you all. When everything was finally in place and the priests were ready, a cloud covered the tent and it filled with the glory of God that everyone could see. With God's help, the people worked together. They cooperated. They made a special tent where they could worship God and God would be with them. To build the tent, they needed people with all kinds of different gifts and skills. They needed designers, people who could sew, people who could work with stone and fine metal, and even teachers who could train others how to do these things. 
They succeeded because everyone came together to make the tent, just as God instructed. Remember, God wants us to work together. Say that with me. God wants us to work together. You and I are kind of like the workers in the story. We all have things that we're good at. Maybe you're good at math, or maybe you're a good singer. Maybe you're good at taking care of your younger brothers or sisters. Well, God can work through us in big ways when we put our skills, talents, and personalities together. We can do so much more together than we could ever do on our own. If you think about it, even Jesus chose to cooperate. I mean, Jesus is God's son. He's all powerful. But Jesus chose to work with a group of 12 disciples as he traveled and taught people about God. Our new memory verse for this month is Ecclesiastes 4.9. It helps us remember why cooperation is so important. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes 4.9. Let's pray. God, it's amazing to hear this story about the Israelites and how they worked together to follow your good plan. You were with them through it all. You gave each person an important part to play. We want to follow their example. We want to use what you've given us as we cooperate with each other. Help us to be kind and generous and work together to do what you've called us to do. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.